right, so let me show you one of the cool things about using Active Target. And in particular, I've got it mounted on the CT360 by Bruce City. The thing I like about this is that it's literally right here, comfortable for me to fish with. And what I've done is I've got some amberjack kind of down below us here. And so what I'm doing is actually following, finding my bait in here and following it down, trying to position it right above amberjack. Amberjack love to just kind of suspend off the bottom and they're swimming around kind of looking for something to eat. And so if I can find my line here, that's the beauty. A lot of times with that target, it doesn't have a real wide cone out there. You can make just little minute adjustments here. And kind of get it down to where them fish are. Let's see if we can get one to bite here. But they're all down there. I can see them plain as day. Right there's the fish I'm after. Here's where the front of the boat is, so we're kind of out here. That's the beauty. You can see that what the fish is actually doing. So you can make a quick adjustment. I'm going to let it free float down here a little bit. And see if it up. Man, I'm right above a bunch of big ones. Come on, right there. <laughs> oh, there comes one. Come on. Oh, there we go. I see him. Really took a big swing at it. Yeah, he just raced over and almost bit it. Come on. I pulled it away from him. About four of them came up after it. Can't believe they aren't biting it. They're just all over it. I mean, they're just like hoarding around it, circling and diving. Why don't you want to bite it? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. He bit it. I actually saw him come up, like scorching away from the other fish. Kind of like geese in a park. <laughs> like a video game down there. I literally was, I was down below him and I saw some fish come in higher. So I lifted it up. Actually, it's kind of like ice fishing almost. You kind of lift it above them and all of a sudden they all started coming up. They're getting interested and then probably that little squirrel fish made a little wrong move down there. And all of a sudden one of them was just darting off to the side. Here he is up here. You can actually see him on the screen They're bubbling around up there. That's that fish fighting. It's cool how the water just gets all them bubbles in the water. And that can target picks that up. Here he is right here. That's how you catch an amberjack. <laughs> I love this system. <laughs>